come to Milan every year. It's uh, it's sort of the obligatory stop. I love Milan, and I, I love coming here every year. For us, Milan is the most important fair we go to. It, it's how we start our year. We focus everything on, on Milan. It has a good fairground. It has uh, a city with beautiful spaces available for shows and uh, exhibitions. It has great restaurants. It's a nice place to be in springtime. In our opinion, Milan is by far the most important because uh, there's 300,000 international visitors. Milan is a kind of core of design community, society in Europe, or maybe in the world. And I think it's still the place where you have the most amount of experimentation. It can give lots of young designers a great thrill to, to come here and get audience and, and uh, get discovered. My entire design team comes here basically to, 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 to suck up new ideas and, and make sure that they are seeing the latest and the greatest. For me it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a, um, a moment that I, I can't miss, the most important week in the design calendar. And all of the important uh, history of furniture design, the post-war furniture design all happened here. And there was a lot of excitement around it. Starting in the early 80s, you know, like Memphis and Alchemia and blah, blah, blah. I have found lately in the last few years that going to the city and going to the independent exhibitions have been where things have really happened and things have been really interesting. Uh, but I feel like there's a, a return to looking at the reason why we are all here, which is the actual commerce of the fair, you know, the, the wheeling and dealing and the showing off of new products by the bigger brands. It's a trade fair basically and, and uh, it's not done for you and me, it's done for people all over the world that have furniture shop and they have to have stuff in it. It's certainly got much, much more competition these days and um, obviously, you know, there's London, is the London Design Festival is fantastic these days, but also Paris, and Stockholm, you know, things are Things are really exciting all over the world now. Personally, I think Milan is a, it's a, it's a absolute nightmare. So it's hard to to take a, few, a group of Italians and uh, and trying to make them all go in one direction. That explains the reason why we are in a big crisis. That explains the reason why we are almost losing the the. Um, the big importance of Salone del Mobile. The city is really in need of a cheerleader, someone who's going to really push it into the, have a vision for the future. Well, Milan still remains the only place where you can see everybody in one go. I mean, whether it'll maintain that top spot unless it curates itself a bit better and kind of limits the amount of, of, um, of people that can take up all the hotel rooms and, and the rest of it um, is hard to tell because you know at one point it becomes impossible to navigate the city. You can't get a taxi, you cannot get a hotel room, and you can't um, afford space to show to show your your goods. I think this is something that um, <coughs> everybody's very worried about in light of the Expo 2015, when there's going to be a disproportionately larger amount of people um, descending on the city and. Of course, if anybody who's seen the chaos of the, of the Salon, and they know that if you're going to have like five times as many people coming all at the same time, it's going to be mayhem. More than any city, it captures the two essence of design, of innovation and, and beauty. And, uh, and I hope uh, we will be able together to always keep, this, uh, keep up the importance of this fact. Even though it rains, <laughs> I think it's a moment in Milan when it becomes the most international and, and uh, this sort of week-long celebration of design is unprecedented anywhere else in the world. And I think there's a real sense amongst the design community um, that if you're not in Milan you're missing out and that still very much exists.